All right, Luther, it's time to work on the next phase of building. And now we're going to take those oil line, oil cooler lines, as well as the coolant line from the radiator and go and work on the firewall. Yep. Uh, at the firewall, we have a couple of things. We've got the uh, heater core uh, that we use for being able to fly in winter. We've got to divert the coolant lines uh, and have them also flow through the heater core. Um, we actually also have to measure the temperature at that point of the coolant and uh, and then get all of this kind of set up on the firewall so that we can mount the engine. Now we do that using these manifolds that you can see actually here. Get these manifolds from Titan. The, we, have, we put AN fittings here, it's AN16 in case anyone's curious for our coolant lines. That's that main thoroughfare that goes through there. And then we have fittings we're putting on having to do with that heater core, um, as well as we're going to have to go out to the expansion tank yep. uh, and then the uh, thermocouple that's going to tell us the temperature. So a lot of things going on here. We're going to have to figure out how does this all fit together. And it's time to start the puzzle on the firewall to make sure we have space because the engine on the Mustang is mounted pretty close to the firewall. Things are tight back there. And so we only have so much real estate and we have to figure out where each of the items is going to go so they don't interfere with one another. So I will uh, leave that uh, to you. Let's get to work and figure out uh, where we're gonna put all this and then get everything attached. It says two to three, and I just don't want to strip it. As long as you're making a full circle. So we uh, we ran into a small problem with mounting the manifold onto the firewall. Uh, it's really hard to determine the holes for mounting the manifold onto the firewall. So we came up with a small solution to this. Um, we just found a, a random old junk bolt that's almost the perfect diameter of the hole, the mounting hole. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut uh, half of the head off of this bolt to clear the fitting. And then I'm gonna grind down the, the tip to make it a point so I can get the perfect center of the, the point I need to drill out. and. Uh, Hopefully this is going to work, so let's get to it.
All right, Lithar, that was amazing work. Really, it, it's, it's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, it looks fantastic. We now have all the hoses going through the manifolds. So the manifolds are measuring the actual coolant temperature through a probe that's on there. Yeah. They're passing through our coolant, both going to the radiator and back from the radiator. And then they also have the expansion tank yep. is, uh, is all plumbed in. Mm -hmm. And then the to and from our heater yep. core. Yep. So all of that is done and it's absolutely gorgeous. Nice job. What, do you, what was the hardest part? Uh, I think the hardest part was actually fitting the manifolds on because okay. of their length, it's really hard to find the holes. Oh yeah. But we found a good technique to that by just making, getting a, getting a junk screw and oh, yeah. Yeah, making the end pointy so we can put it and then... Yeah, it's hard to locate the mounting holes. You know, it has three mounting holes around there and the manifolds are so long. Like how do you without using it as a template with the drill and then you chew things up yep. like how do you get it done and the yep. way you the way you got a point on uh, a bolt, bolt that yep. worked out really well mm -hmm. awesome well nice job and uh get this wrapped up and then on to another stage of building yep. right mm -hmm. all right well for social flight i'm jeff simon this is lithra and uh, be sure to check out socialflight.com and the free apps for apple and android devices there are tens of thousands of aviation events and destinations so many cool things to do social flight live every tuesday night just go to socialflightlive.com and be sure if you have the mobile app to do the fly to win challenge where you can win some great prizes until next time i wish you all Blue skies.